Have you ever heard about Bitcoin? Bitcoin is a digital asset and a technology with a huge potential to make our local and global financial system more efficient and open to everyone. Let's talk about a very interesting problem that Bitcoin and the blockchain technology solves. Today, sending value across borders is a very slow, expensive and inefficient process. A very significant percentage of the amount sent by a migrant to his family and friends across the border is lost due to fees and commissions charged by remittance companies. Imagine what would happen if that money were to be spent or invested locally in your communities, triggering both growth and development. The reason why sending money across borders is so expensive is due to the use of compensation chambers. And compensation chambers are required because prior to the invention of the blockchain, there was no method for real-time settlement between financial institutions. Furthermore, compensation chambers involve a lot of systemic risk that is charged as a risk premium to the users. And there is another reason why the mechanism of compensation chambers is so expensive. Participants need to have a deposit, an account in the compensation chamber, and that money is frozen and cannot be used. So let me tell you how we propose to solve this problem of sending money between two points on Earth. In particular, we are interested in sending money from Mexico to any other place on Earth and from any other place on Earth to Mexico. And the process we propose is the following, which I will illustrate with a little example. Imagine you have somebody in the United States with US dollars that needs to send some money to a person in Mexico that needs Mexican pesos. This person will do the following. He will take his US dollars and deposit them in a North American digital asset exchange, such as Coinbase, for example. Then he will use those US dollars to buy Bitcoins at the current market price. Then he will send that amount of Bitcoins to an address at the digital asset exchange in Mexico. In this case, ours, which is called ISBIT. That transfer of value across borders will actually be settled in approximately 10 minutes and the cost of that transaction is less than one Mexican peso. Then those Bitcoins that are already on a digital asset exchange in Mexico will be sold at that market, our market is bit, in exchange for Mexican pesos. Then those Mexican pesos can be withdrawn to any Mexican bank account using the local automatic clearinghouse system or withdraw in actual physical cash in a network of merchants that use a point of sale application we developed called ISPOS. So, in summary, the citizen in the United States has US dollars and the citizen in Mexico is receiving Mexican pesos and the process, instead of taking 3-4 days to settle, is taking about 10 minutes. And instead of costing 4, 5, up to 8% of the value sent, the cost is less than 1%. This is fantastic for both migrants, for commercial transactions involving exports or imports. This mechanism, although it sounds a little bit confusing, is actually much more simpler and much more scalable than using a chain of compensation chambers to transfer value. Because if the origin of the funds was China, several compensation chambers will be involved, adding delays and adding cost in each step of the process. Instead, this process we propose is much more direct. You only need a digital asset exchange in the country of origin of the funds and another digital asset exchange in the country of destination of the funds. This is a great solution we are proposing and we think it has a great potential to make 
the world a better place and to trigger growth and explosive development. So let me tell you a little bit about our technology. Isbit is a digital asset marketplace. This is an environment where both supply and demand can meet to exchange digital assets for fiat currencies. We are an intermediary between people that want to buy Bitcoin with Mexican pesos and people that want to sell Bitcoin for Mexican pesos. We eliminate counterparty risk in every transaction and we provide the mechanisms to help sellers sell at the best price and buyers buy at the best price through a bid ask model. We use the same mechanism that any stock exchange uses to operate. For example, it's a bid ask system where people can place limit or market orders and they have access to a wide array of financial information about prices and about the situation of the market in real time. And our technology obviously provides the tools so people can participate in the market using a graphical interface or using an application programming interface. And something I want to really stress out is that we are not a competitor to the current financial and banking system. We are more like an infrastructure company that allows them to improve some of their current processes and make them more efficient. A use case is remittances. Since we have an open application programming interface, any remittance company could use it to build their own remittance rail using a much more efficient process than what they're currently employing. Likewise, any bank, any hedge fund, any large financial organization can use our application interface to create wonderful new applications, products and services that were not possible before and improve some of their current processes and make them more efficient. So let's talk a little bit about the market opportunity we are addressing. Mexico currently stands in fifth place in terms of countries receiving the most remittances in the world with an inflow of more than 24 billion US dollars every year. This is an enormous market. Migrants are paying on average 4.2% for sending money to Mexico. This is a very high cost and we plan to reduce this to less than 1%. But even at this lower commission we will charge, if we had like 1% of the market share, this is going to be a billion dollar business. In order for it to be practical to create or mount a remittance rails between any two countries in the world, you need both depth and liquidity in both digital asset exchanges. So let me tell you how we are creating that situation in our market, ISBIT. We have a strategy that works through a symbiosis ISBIT has with two other products our company developed. ISPOS is a point of sale application we developed that allows merchants to sell their goods or services and charge amongst other payment methods using Bitcoin. The app can be configured so these merchants place the Bitcoins they receive every time they get paid on sale on Isbit. This helps us create supply of Bitcoin in the platform. That helps create orders on the right side of the order book in the market Isbit. Likewise, we have another integration with a wallet application which allows common people to make purchases on the internet at any Bitcoin accepting site without actually having to hold Bitcoins. So consumers can have Mexican pesos and when they want to make a purchase on the internet, so for example, they want to buy airplane tickets or buy a computer, they scan a QR code, the app 
calculates the equivalent of Mexican pesos required to make that purchase in Bitcoin and then uses Mexican pesos to buy Bitcoin on the EastBit exchange and then sends those Bitcoins to the merchant. This helps create volume on the demand side of the market. So this way we have a market where both consumers and merchants are creating volume as well as investors and speculators are helping create liquidity as well. So through this kind of symbiosis, we are able to create a market where it's possible to have enough depth and liquidity to enable international remittances at an industrial scale to the point we can replace the conventional mechanisms. So that's our strategy. We have assembled a team that will enable us to make this a reality. Our team has complementary skills ranging from IT, software engineering, legal and compliance, finance and risk management. I hope you find our company interesting. And if you want to join us in this endeavor to make the world a better place and the finance and banking system more efficient, open and secure, please don't hesitate to contact us.